When was the last time you replaced your smartphone or your laptop? Pretty recently probably or maybe not. But what about a light bulb? You replace it when it stops working or say when it becomes obsolete. What if I tell you this obsolescence is planned? Hello and welcome to Tech Has No Borders. My name is Vikram Singh and today we will discuss a phenomenon called planned obsolescence which is very widely acknowledged and very little known. Maybe because of its nature of being both good and bad in different ways. The longer answer is a bit more nuanced. Planned obsolescence is a strategy that many manufacturers employ to make sure that their product fails after a certain amount of time. It actually started with light bulbs. Way back in 1925, when Philips and General Electric found by Thomas Edison and many other companies came together in Geneva to find an organization called Phoebus Cartel. Their idea was simple to restrict the life of all commercially available light bulbs. Phoebus Cartel slashed the life of all commercially available light bulbs from 2500 hours to 1000 hours. And because more or less these companies controlled the whole market, they could raise the prices without the fear of any competition which resulted in maximum profits. Non-removable batteries in smartphones and laptops was a smooth slip in by the companies in our lives and it changed the way we use these technologies. Earlier, smartphones used to have removable batteries. If the battery stops working, just buy a new battery and your phone is good to go. But now, if the battery stops working, it's time to buy a new phone. Regular OS updates and application updates are another fine example of planned obsolescence. These regular updates come heavy on storage, resulting in slow processing of the device. And in no time, we find ourselves stranded and in need of better processing and storage units. TVs are getting slimmer and slimmer by the day, in order to be more compact. But remember, slimmer the TV, even slimmer the chances of it getting repaired. As few or maybe none of the parts could be replaced. And the cost of repair is almost equal to a new one. Obsolescence has diversified over the years. It's not just due to the company's involvement, it's also our own mindset. Have you ever wondered how the companies generate repeat sales of luxury items? Easy. They prey on our rapid consumer behavior. You don't have an iPhone? What are you, a caveman? You are still running 2014 model car. Is this thing still running? Your TV is not 4K HDR. How can you stand watching that? If you look closely, the specifications have not much changed, but still for some reason, everybody wants the latest, shiniest thing in the market. It's an endless cycle, and that's what the big corporations do. They make us feel cheap and old-fashioned for not buying the latest and greatest thing if we're not engaged in this mindless consumerism behavior. So we actually buy it to fit in, and that's how we're falling in this trap of planned obsolescence. So guys, what are your thoughts on planned obsolescence? Do let us know in the comment section below and tell us how would you avoid falling in this trap. Do not forget to like us and share us with your family and friends and, and colleagues and make sure that you subscribe the channel for more such content. Thanks for watching this video. I am Vikram signing off from Tech Has No Borders.